Hey, John Kelsey here with Red Rhino Estimating Software. I just wanted to show you um, a video of my workstation when I'm using PlanSwift with Red Rhino Software. You'll see I have PlanSwift opened on a 32-inch monitor. Uh, it's actually a 32-inch TV set. You know, computer monitors cost a lot of money sometimes, so I just went out and bought a 32-inch flat-screen TV. I think it's, the brand is Sharp. I think I paid about 270 bucks for it. And I, I plug that into my laptop. So I have PlanSwift open on one screen, if you will, my 32-inch monitor with the plans on it so I can scroll around and count. And I have Red Rhino open on my small uh, screen or on my laptop. That's what I want to communicate with you. If you're going to use uh, PlanSwift, it's best to have a larger size screen for the plans, okay? If not, you'll have to scroll all over the plans trying to find things. Now you might consider even a 42 inch monitor or a 48 inch. I don't know how much room you have on your workstation, um, but this is what I use. I use a 32 inch and it's adequate. Um, it couldn't hurt to have a little bit bigger one. So that's it. Uh, enjoy the video that shows you how to use PlanSwift now. The, the great advantage of, of uh, using on-screen takeoff, as you know, is, is you don't have to spend money on blueprints. You know, it gets pretty expensive to print blueprints out every job to estimate them okay so you save that expense plus you don't have to store them you know you get so you have a closet full or a room full of of old blueprints of jobs that you've estimated if you're still using paper so that's it enjoy the demonstration and call us if you have questions in this video I'm going to give a brief explanation of how you can use Red Rhino electrical estimating software with PlanSwift on-screen takeoff software. Now I've done some setup with this. You can see on the right screen that I have PlanSwift opened, and on the left screen I have Red Rhino opened. This is typically the way I estimate using PlanSwift with Red Rhino. You can't tell it, but PlanSwift is actually on a 32-inch monitor, and Red Rhino is just on my laptop. Now let me get into this, and I'll, get, I'll explain some more. The real advantage to using PlanSwift is that you don't have to print out blueprints anymore. You know, eventually around your office, you just end up having tons of blueprints stack up. Not to mention expensive, it takes up a lot of space. And using on-screen takeoff software is much faster. Now there's a learning curve to it, but when you learn your way around it, you'll bang out your estimates a lot faster than if, you, if you're whipping them out on a plan table and highlighting everything and counting, okay? Let me explain kind of an overview of, of PlanSwift. I'm going to change the screen to only showing you PlanSwift. Okay, so here's the setup I've done. Obviously, I opened PlanSwift up on my monitor here, and I uploaded, or downloaded, I should say, some blueprints. Okay, so you see the blueprints on the left, of course, the lighting plan that I've selected over in the center, and I, uh, just a word about the assemblies and products. You can actually use a PlanSwift plugin to import assemblies and products. Now, I just want to say a word about that real quick. Red Rhino has hundreds and hundreds of pre-built assemblies that you can use and literally thousands of products. So the idea is, is that you'll drill down in these catalogs to find what you're looking for, what you want to count on the screen. You'll count them just by clicking here. And as you do, it'll show the counts over here. Now let me just show you an example of that real quick. Now you'll see on PlanSwift, I've actually zoomed in on this plan. I do that because I have a, a wheel on my mouse that I can do it with. I can scroll in and scroll out, or I should say I can zoom in and zoom out. And you also notice here that I've actually drilled down in the assembly catalog to get to the assembly that I'm looking for. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to count these 8-foot strip lights, okay? There's lots of them in here. And I'll just show an example. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to find the 8-foot. I don't know if you can read this. It's an 8-foot surface strip fixture. Now, I'm going to double-click on it. And when I do, it opens up and it explains the description of the item that you're going to do takeoff for. Now, the other thing that I have to do, I won't get into this too deep, but I have to select the section um, that I, I want the... Um, the assemblies to go to. So I'm going to click the drop down and I'm I want this of course to go to the lighting section. Now I've set these sections up in Red Rhino prior to doing this. That's one of the setups that I did. So when I do that and then click OK, here you'll notice that the digitizer um, lights up here. What that means is it's ready to do takeoff. It's ready to record. And so all you do is you go down this plan and you count the fixtures. 
Okay, you see how it highlights a little symbol next to the fixtures as you count them? You just go here and count them. And now you'll notice something here. When as I count, it's actually showing the count over here. Notice I, I clicked uh, seven fixtures here, counted seven fixtures, and so it records it here. So that's it. A quick overview. You um, locate the item you're looking for over here. You count it. Plan Swift shows it on the plan and then shows the count over here. Now I'm going to show you one more example of a fixture count, and then we'll go on to something else. Next, I just wanted to show how I want to go through and count these two before recess fixtures. I've already drilled down in the assembly catalog. I've, I've highlighted and digitized to count the two by four um, fluorescent or LED type fixtures. And again, I just click on them and it, and it counts them. You'll see here, I'm going into the rooms that have the recessed lights here, the two befores, and again, as I count on it, notice the clicker here has a seven on it, so it's showing the count right here, plus on the left-hand side over here, it's showing your count, so you just go count on it, click on it, it highlights it, it counts it here. Now, I'm going to show you a couple more assemblies here, and then I'm going to show you how they export to Red Rhino software. Now, here I've selected the power plan, and I've set it up to digitize counting 20 amp standard receptacles. You can see the digitizers lit here, and I'm just ready to count. As again, I just click on it, it highlights or color codes it, and then as I do, it populates or shows the count over here. Now, next, I'm going to show just one more example, then we're going to export those to Red Rhino software. Now, in this example, I've gone to the panel schedule plan, and what I want to do here is I want to count the circuit breakers to be input into Red Rhino for circuit breaker termination labor. Now, I've drilled down in the product catalog here. You can see in product 8000. Something I wanted to mention to you is the assembly catalogs and the product catalogs mirror match the ones that you see in Red Rhino software. When you open up and start doing an estimate in Red Rhino, again, you'll see assembly, the, the catalogs and list exactly like this. This is what makes this, this so much so fast to use, okay? So again, I've digitized to count one pole 20 amp circuit breakers. I kind of blew this up. I'm in a panel schedule here. I'm going to just click down here and count the 20 amp circuit breakers, okay? It doesn't matter if they're one pole, two pole, or three pole. You just go here and dial down the dial into the fixture, or rather the uh, <laughs> circuit breakers you want to count, you come here and count them, it digitizes here. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to export materials to Red Rhino software. Now before I move on and show you how to export the takeoff, the material takeoff, I wanted to show you how to digitize um, taking off for material conduit, or, or I should say for conduit runs. So what you do is you click up at the top here for linear measurement, and when you do, it opens a window. Now, I've already pre-populated this. I know that I'm going to take off MC cable 12.2, okay? You can select the color here, whatever from the drop-down. I'm going to make these runs red, just, um, just for example. And you make sure that the folder that you have is set up correct, and you click OK. You see the digitizer, and then you can start taking off your conduit. Now, this goes very quickly. You, you just have to figure out a click between points where you want the conduit to go. I always overroll slightly to make up the dis distance going up and down. Okay, so I just click on this point. I draw a line across here. I click again, and that, then I'm going to scroll down and just go to this fixture here, okay? I click again, and as I do that, I'm going to right-click and stop. As I do that, you see it shows the distance of MC cable, okay? And I'll just do it again here. So it's still, um, I, oh, <laughs> something else I wanted to bring up. If you've... If, if you've digitized or taken off a certain size conduit and want to go back to taking off again, you don't have to click up here and start over. You can just click on the little green ball here. It'll digitize, and you can start again. So same drill here. I want to take off conduit. I'll go down this way, click here, go down to this fixture, click here, and then I'll right-click and stop it. And again, it totals the amount of conduit as you take it off. This works really slick. Again, all you do is click points in here, and it shows you the measurement. Now, I've gone ahead and scaled these plans before I started. That's part of the setup, but that's how it knows um, what the distances are. 
works really fast and really slick. Now, just a word on conduit. With conduit, you'll measure your distances, and then you'll actually input that using the conduit wizard in Red Rhino software. Next, I'm going to show you for reals how to uh, export the materials from PlanSwift into Red Rhino software. On this screen, again, you see PlanSwift on the right screen, and you see Red Rhino on the left screen. Now, let me explain something real quick. When you get the Red Rhino plug-in for PlanSwift, um, it comes with, or, or let me say, the plug-in is what you import everything into PlanSwift from Red Rhino to plan Swift. Okay, this little doohickey over here is called the Red Rhino Integrator. The Red Rhino Integrator is what talks, if you will, or communicates between Red Rhino software and plan Swift. So in this case, I'm going to show you how to export materials from plan Swift into Red Rhino. You see plan Swift, I have uh, the screen open here that's the estimating tab. Now, I just input or counted a few items in plan Swift, but if you had a big estimate going on, you'd see lots and lots of items here broken down into, if you will, the different um, folders, okay? So in this case, I'm going to just select the items from the lighting folder that I did from uh, taking off of the, the lighting plan. I just highlight these items. And then I go to the Plan Swift, if you're, or rather, I go to the Red Rhino Integrator. It's set for Export Takeoff here. It's set for the section where I want the materials to go. And I just click Export Takeoff. And after the export is successful, two things happen. Over on the right, it labels the items that were exported, so you don't do it twice. And then over on the left screen, you'll see that the Red Rhino Integrator reads Export completely successful. Now you can see that I've minimized the Red Rhino integrator and I'll drill down into the lighting section to show the results from the export of lighting assemblies or fixture assemblies from PlanSwift. So here you see here you see where we've exported the lighting fixture count or the assemblies from PlanSwift into Red Rhino software. Now again, that's how it works with Red Rhino, uh, with Red Rhino estimating software integrated with PlanSwift on-screen takeoff software. Again, the benefit you get is you don't end up buying, uh, paying so much for blueprints, you know, a fortune on printing cost and the hassle of going and getting them or having them delivered, and it, it gets really fast when you count just on-screen. Hope this helps you understand how it works.